welcome back to another Crank and Packs video. I am your host, Mr. Rivers. That's right, today I'm going to be opening up another box of Iconic Masters. You probably saw me open my first box. It was a box battle with Stubborn Salmon while I was down in Philadelphia at PAX. Um, I picked up a number of boxes while there and brought them home. Um, because I got a pretty decent deal on them at the time, the boxes have since uh, gone down quite a bit in price from what I can see. Um, since they were pre-ordering in Canada for 250 which is approximately somewhere in the, you know, $200 range in the States. Um, I'm now seeing them on, like, TCG for 170 ish You know, 165 maybe. You know, that's not including shipping, obviously, but, like, that's pretty cheap in a, as far as I can can see um i don't know the box prices are going in the toilet so far a anyway i'm gonna open it anyway just because i bought it i've got it i'm not gonna hold on to it uh for super super long but i will open it now i do have a number of other boxes of uh, iconic as well i don't know how many of the ones i have i'll open um, I don't think too many of the ones I open will be better than the box I got in the battle. If you haven't seen the video, you should definitely check it out. Um, of course, the packs are all friggin' over the place. My goodness. Alright. Let's just get, get right in. Let's get right into it. Obviously, um... I don't believe there's any commons of note in these sets. Let's see if we can get that a little closer for you guys so you can read it. Lure, Abzan Battle Priest, Mah Mahapmoti Jin, Mahamoti Jin. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not. I'm probably butchering it. I apologize. Anyway. First rare, a Simix Guy Swallower. What a way, what a way to start off the box. One of the best rares. And our foil is a Sustainer of the Realm. An interesting little 2-3 uh, Angel for 4. I remember that card from back in the day. When was, What was that printed in? 7th edition or something along those lines? I mean, it seems weird to me that they printed things like Jotty Offshoot in Iconic Masters. This is a card that was printed in Battle for Zendikar, Oath of the Gatewatch, one of those. That block. It seems weird to me that they would reprint it in in this set so f so quickly. Like, this is supposed to be iconic cards, and Jotty Offshoot, in my opinion, not so iconic. Haunting him... Golgari Rot Farm, Palladium Mirror, and our second rare, Day of Dragons. And a Topan Freeblade foil. The dragon token's pretty cool, actually. This 5-5. Five five. It's pretty nice art. Pretty, I, I'm pretty stoked about the art on it. I like the fact that it's like a couple volcanoes in the background. So I hope you guys are having a great time um how what do you think of this set how do you feel about it of course i you know i'm pretty sure that i talked about this before the set even launched that i was not super excited about it i was not like there was not a lot of for me there wasn't a lot of hype fog bank noxious dragon rakdos carnarium and a supreme verdict it's not too bad. Supreme Verdict is just a pretty good board wipe. I mean, very good board wipe, I should say. And a foil, a Dragon Lord's Servant. Uh, I wasn't super excited about the set. You know, I mean... It worries me, you know, when you get a master set and, like, there's one card that is, like, well over the price of every other card in the set. And then all the other cards are kind of like mediocre. Um, great teacher's decree. Now that's not saying that, 
you know, obviously the cards can still be good even if they don't have a high value d dollar wise. But generally speaking, for those uh, for those out there who don't follow the meta of the game and that kind of stuff, um, the dollar amount can sort of tell you how how much the card is used or how sought off sought after it is. So the the dollar amount is an easy way to tell if you've got something, you know, that's good. Blizzard Spectre, Illusionary Ambusher, and our rare Spirit Monger. Nothing crazy there. The Festering Newt, one part of the three-part combo with Cauldron and Bog Brew Witch. It was a, from what, one of the core sets? Core 2014, I think it was. That's what I want to say. Ulcerate. Orzov Basilica. Angelica Cord, another card that works really well with the Bog Brew Witch Cauldron Newt combo and a brogar uh bogarden hellkite bogarden hellkite a foil azorius charm this looks pretty sweet the foiling on like the text on his uh little staff there is pretty awesome and a beast token good old beasty mcbeast so far no mythics in the first basically third of this box what else can we find? Undercity Troll, Surreal Memoir, Trepanation Blade, and a Nimbus Maze. Um, this is a rare that's got, like, it's a couple bucks, I think. Jotty Offshoot Foil. Joy. Joyous Day. I know that, I think there was a deck that was playing Jotty Offshoot when BFZ was in standard. Is that correct? I think it was. Great Teacher's Decree. Hero's Bane. I think this was a rare in Theros. Stagger Shock. And hey, our first rare is an Archangel of Thune. Very good rare. Uh, or very good mythic, I should say. Not like, you know, the top, top range, but still. Uh, very nice to pick that up. Very good card. Mnemonic Wall as our foil. And an Angel Token. The 4 4 Angel Token. Actually, the art on the foil, on the uh, Angel Token, is pretty cool, too. Um. Those of you who missed it in my previous box opening, too, I did end up getting a crimped pack. Uh, a pack that was open on the bottom. Um, and I ended up getting a crimped card out of it. Too bad the crimped card was only the token. A Malfagor. Malfagor? 6-6 six, six dra Demon Dragon. What? Two red, two black, and two. Flying, when Malfagor enters the battlefield, discard your hand. Each opponent sacrifices a creature for each card discarded this way. Weird. And a foil mind stone. That's pretty cool. I'll show you the angel token there. The art on that is pretty sweet. Definitely I'll slot that into, uh, into my deck. I have two decks that use angel tokens. I have an angel deck that I built a long long time ago and then i add to it every now and then when some sweet new angels come out it's mono white uh viscopa guild mage first bobble there it is demir aqueduct and a savage born hydra this was a mythic i think a foil knight of the reliquary all right i'll take it cards worth a couple bucks non-foil so not so bad foil um, but yeah, I have two decks that do angels. I have an angel deck that's mono-white, and then I have an enchantment deck, green-white enchantment deck, that has the sigil of the empty throne. And man, it pumps out angel tokens like nobody's business. Hunting pack. Burninton Forge Tender. Abzan Falconer. And a Rampaging Baeloth. With a foil Furnace Whelp. Joyous day. Joyous, joyous day. What else we got? We want to see another mythic. We want to see two more mythics, right? We also want to see, like, Cryptic Command, Flusterstorm. So we got Is It Boilerworks, Salt High Flare, Swords to Plowshares, a buck, buck 20 now. Necropotens. Ask for the mythics and you shall receive, even if they are the low end mythics. At least it's not channel, I guess. Reeve Soulfoil. I can't believe they printed channel 
as a mythic. And its dollar price went from being like some ridiculous sum of money to like pennies now. It's crazy. I think it's like down to like a dollar or something. Skywise Teachings, Enlarge, Rift Bolt, and Rune Scarred Demon. Worth a couple bucks. Doorkeeper Foil. Ugh. Man, I remember the uh, the Defender decks from Return to Ravnica. Those were fun to play, but your opponent just hated you. They just hated you. Murek, Nightblade, Distortion Strike, Fireball, and Glimpse the Unthinkable. Nice rare to pick up. Definitely very nice. A Foil Evolving Wilds. Can always use more Foil Evolving Wilds, that's for sure. Evolving Wilds is a staple of most most decks, Commander and uh, Modern and things like that. Well, maybe not Modern, but Commander for sure. Roshin Me uh, Mean Meanderer Meanderer. Yep. Colagon's Monument, Illusionary or Illusory Angel, I should say, and Crucible of Fire, and Benevolent Ancestor Foil. Oof. This box, as I said, there, there's hardly any way I will beat that first box. I just don't think it can be done. Um, for me, anyway. Hoarding Dragon. I'm sure there's someone out there that's pulled the friggin' uh, like Mana Drain, Foil Mana Drain from the same pack, and they're just like, Woo! Money dollar bills! A Thoughtseize. That's a good rare. A couple bucks as well. Well, more than a couple bucks. I think it's over ten. Sultai Flare Foil. Not a bad rare. We're about like half, right? Like half and half. Our Foil Rare was not terrible. Our Foil Rare could have been much worse than a Knight of the Reliquary. That's for sure. Azor uh, Azorius Chancery. Bog Brew Witch. There you go. Boros Garrison. And a Sphinx of Uthun. And a Foil Wall of Roots. Wall of Roots is a fun card, too. Defender, 05, put a negative one... Uh, sorry, a zero negative one counter on him. Add a green mana. Selesnia Sanctuary. A Johnny's Pride Mate. Rift Bolt. And Ginger Taxius. Core Augur. Another uh, mythic, not super crazy on the price. The blue mythic, but not the blue mythic you want out of this set. Right? Mana Drain is the blue mythic you want out of this set. Bam, what do we got? Alright. An Archangel of Thune would have been better if it was uh, Avacyn, right? Sanguine Bond, Windfall, Simic Growth Chamber, and Obstinate Bailoth. Foil, lead the Stampede. So, we've hit all our mythics. We're not going to see... I don't think we're going to see a fourth mythic unless it's Foil. Um... And I don't think we're going to see a Foil Mythic, because we've already opened a Foil Rare. We might see another Foil Rare, but I highly doubt it. Cryptic Command, that's a good one. Definitely a very good uh, Rare to pick up. Late game here. Cryptic Command, evening us out a little more. So you can see, like, the box is sort of, like, half and half. A couple Rares that are, like, I should say, a number of Rares that are all, like, under a dollar. And then only a few worth over a dollar. Some of them, however, being worth quite a bit more, like... Uh, Thoughtseize, Glimpse, Cryptic Command, all over five for sure. Topin Freeblade. And we got uh, Jugen, the Rising Star, or Yugen, or however you want to pronounce it. Foil, Ojitai's Breath. And uh, and then, so then, like, the out of the dragons, you want to see the black dragon over all of them. The green one is the second lowest, only to the red, I think. I think red is the worst one. Hunting Pack, in a dollar value-wise. Sanguine Bond. Bladewing the Risen, and Lord of the Pit. This card brings back memories for me. I actually have a copy of this card from, I want to say, 4th edition or something along those lines, and I used to play with it all the time. This card in Breeding Pit, man. Lord of the Pit, and a Foil Diminish. Lord of the Pit for me. Definitely an iconic card. That card was was a hype back in the day. Um, a 7-7 Flying Trampler 
for seven was just pretty crazy. Selesnia Sanctuary, Wing Shards, Prodigal Pyromancer, and Path of Bravery. A foil, Angel of Mercy. Two packs left. Two packs left. What else we got? Yeah. Boom. Jungle Barrier, Boros Garrison, Abzan Falconeer, and a Horizon Canopy. There you go. That's the land that you want to see. And a foil, Earth Elemental. So there you go. We hit the number one land. That's pretty good. We still haven't hit a Flusterstorm or an Ancestral Recall or things like that. Dragon Tempest, Corp Jack's Menace, Dragon Loft Idol, and a Sarah Ascendant. Not a bad little rare. Worth worth a couple bucks as well. I think it's over five. So that's not so bad. And did we get another foil rare? No. Okay, only one foil rare in the box. Which is, I think, supposed to be about average. I think I got two foil rares in the last box. Or maybe Salmon got two in his. I can't remember. But uh, only one bobble. And only one swords. Kind of low on the uh, uncommons. Worth a dollar or more. That's for sure. Um, our mythics were kind of like, eh. Like, Archangel of Thune's not bad, but the other two are pretty low on the value scale. We opened Horizon Canopy, Cryptic Command, Thoughtseize, Glimpse. Um, those are our, like, money rares. Definitely not nearly as good as the first box we opened, that's for sure. But still not terrible. Um, not not terrible from an aspect of it could have been much worse. Um, we could have got a foil Simic Sky Swallower, right? Let's be honest. Foil Knight of the Reliquary, Reliquary is pretty nice. So there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been your host, Mr. Rivers. Don't forget to check out my store, Nerdvana Store CA, for all your single needs, as well as my Patreon, where you can get discount codes to the store, as well as things like grab bags, bundles, booster boxes, all of that stuff. Big shout out to my patrons, because without them, I couldn't keep doing all of this. So thank you so much to all of those people. You know who you are, you wonderful people. And. As always, everybody, may your pulls ever be better.